Hi viewers, we are going to see the sh short brief revision of male reproductive system. Identify the slide. Uh, I have given you the uh, answer also, testis. So here you can see the tubules, lot of tubules you can see. Tubules means round, round, circle, circle, structure. What are these tubules? If you draw a long convoluted tubules, these are all called long convoluted tubules. When you take cut section of this, it will be like rounded structures. So you can see the tubules like this and from where the tubules are coming. So when you draw this testis, the student should draw the first tunica albuginea that is the capsule, number one. Number two, from the tunica albuginea, irregular septum. So this is the septa, number two. Number three, this septa divides the testis into so many lobules how many lobules 250 lobules in each lobule you will be having the 2 to 4 convoluted tubules 2 to 4 convoluted tubules you will be having so you should draw convoluted tubules the tubules what is the lining epithelium of the testis germinal epithelium so germinal epithelium how will you draw you have to draw different stages of spermatogenesis so for that you should draw with uh, your uh, hematoxylin color so hematoxylin is blue so nucleus always you should keep it in blue color so i'll put different stages means one big big cell followed by thin thin and thin like that this is the different stages of spermatogenesis so i will draw different stages of spermatogenesis right and so i have drawn the germinal epithelium second in between you have to draw a large cell that is your sertoli cell so germinal epithelium i have drawn sertoli cell i have drawn now you have to write the functions of the sertoli cell that I will show you and the next thing is in between the seminiferous tubules you will be having a small accumulation that is called interstitial cells of lady. What is the function of this interstitial cell? Interstitial cells of lady. This secretes testosterone and non-steroidal hormones both testosterone is a steroid the non-steroidal hormones so this is how you have to draw the picture so again i repeat point number one capsule that is tunica albuginea point number two in septa which divides the testis into lobules this septa contains blood vessels you have to draw blood vessels in the septa septa you have to draw blood vessels and nerves okay and then third is it divides it into lobules how many lobules 250 lobules and how many uh, uh, seminiferous tubules will be there in each lobule four and then next in between the cells what do you have interstitial cells of lady what is the function of interstitial cells of lady it produces testosterone is a steroid as well as a non-steroidal hormone what is the function of the sertoli cell that we'll see here so first you should write the capsule and the germinal epithelium the germinal epithelium you have to draw the different stages of spermatogenesis that's why multiple dots are seen here and the tip you will be having the spermatid okay and then next is your non-germ cell non-germ cell is the sertoli cell and uh, it supports and nourishes the spermatozoa is the main function supports as well as nourishes the spermatozoa and then fourth is interstitial cells of lady which secretes testosterone and non-steroid substance for a UG student you, at least you should tell testosterone and then next one is seen between the seminiferous tubules where will you see in between the seminiferous tubules you will be having this cell called these are all septa okay in between that only you will be seeing the interstitial cells of lady and then sertoli cell functions i have already told you first it supports first support or nutritional support second thing phagocytosis cytoplasm shed out during spermatogenesis spermiogenesis what is spermiogenesis from spermatid transformed into the spermatozoa that process is called a spermiogenesis that time extra cytoplasm will be shed off that cytoplasm will be phagocyte, uh, phagocytosed by the sertoli cell and forms a blood testis barrier and synthesis of antigen binding protein that binds testosterone if nobody binds the testosterone what will happen to the testosterone it will excrete in the urine so it's, we need somebody that is your antigen binding protein and secretes inhibin which inhibits the release of FSH and secretes anti-mullerian hormone. A mullerian hormone is for the female. So, if we don't want mullerian in males. So, it secretes anti-mullerian hormone uh, which suppresses the formation of mullerian system. Mullerian system only, it develops into female uh, reproductive system. Secretes the fructose-rich medium for the nourishment of the sperm and secretion of testicular transferrin. This is the nutritional product, iron, which is transmitted to the uh, spermatozoa. So these are the points in favor of sertoli cells. So you, that's all about the 
டெஸ்டஸ்